Where's uh, Jared this morning? He's on a job interview, and then he's having lunch with his dad. Have you seen Mom? No, but um, I went to bed early last night. Yeah, so did we. She probably just went out early this morning, Natalie. Okay, well, I thought the same thing, except for my car's still gone, and she took my car last night when she, when she went to go get Nash's wine. <laughs> She's probably all right, Natalie. Okay, so, where's Mom? I mean, where's, where's the car? And do you really think something could have happened to Mom? It did. Mom. Hey. Where were you? We were getting worried. Well, I'm fine. I'm fine now. Now? Did something happen? Yeah, I was in a car accident. Oh, my God. God, an accident? Yeah. Uh, are yeah. you okay? Yes, darling, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, but I was in the hospital overnight. Oh, my God, why didn't you call us? Well, because it was late and it wasn't really anything you needed to deal with. Especially not you, darling. Me? Why, why me? Well, I didn't think you needed any more upsetting news. Oh, how bad was it? Technically, for a little while... I was dead. Dead? Yeah. I went into cardiac rest. And Do but Dorian got my heart started again. So was... Dorian was there? Oh, yeah. Hey, listen, <laughs> I was driving to the vineyard, and I found her hitchhiking on the road. And so, of course, I gave her a lift. I can't believe that we didn't know about any of this happening. Well, you know what? I, I had a battery of tests last night and this morning, and I am totally fine. The problem is, darling, and I'm really very sorry, your car... It's destroyed. It's totaled. Oh, my God. Mom, I don't care about that. How in the world did this happen? Your brakes failed. Are you kidding me? I just had this car completely checked out. It was... It was... The brakes were fine. Uh, are you sure that was it? I think so. But the car's in the shop now, so I'm sure they'll figure out what happened to them. Mom, are you sure you're all right? Yes, honey. I'm, I'm actually just a little tired. That's all. I, I don't... I don't really remember much about what happened, but I do remember it was painless. It was, it was actually almost pleasant. Hopefully Nash had a pleasant death. Darling, I'm awfully sorry. I didn't, you know I didn't. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. I'm just, I'm happy you will come back to us. Thank you. Uh, Molly. Mm -hmm. Sorry to bother you with this now, but I just want to let you know the International Heart Organization called like three times this morning. I promised to give them an answer today. An answer to what? Um, I've, I've been asked to be a sort of ambassador for them, to go and visit heart patients and talk to their families about my transplant and actually try to get some support for the organ donor program. And you're going to go, aren't you? I don't know, sweetheart. After last night, I mean, they want me to go to Africa. They do? Yeah. For several weeks. I think I'm just going to turn them down. But why? Well, after what she just went through. Well, darling, I don't think it would be right to leave you. No, no, you have to do it. You have to go. No, Mom, don't you worry about a thing. I, I promise I will take really good care of Jess. We'll even let her out of my sight. <laughs> See? Mom, I'm in good hands. And, um, you know... You've been through such an ordeal. It's a miracle you're so alive. Think of the story you could tell these people. I'll say. I still can't believe that it was Dorian who saved my life. Yeah, how did that happen? Believe it or not, she had her medical bag with her and there was a syringe of adrenaline in it. Mm. See, you live so you can do something special. Think of the hope you'll bring people. Are, are you sure you're going to be all right, sweetheart? I'm going to be fine. You know, I'm just taking it one day at a time, like you told me. You are so brave. You are so strong, sweetheart. Well, I learned it from you. Oh. And, and from you, Natalie. You know, you have no idea what an, an inspiration you've been. <laughs> Now, Mrs. Vega, I can't process your claim until you answer some questions. I have to find something first. I have to. I can't lose it. Hey, Carlotta, is there something I can help you with? Oh, 
was silly. Uh, my husband and I, we kept the first dollar that we ever made. And it was in a little frame by the register. I guess it's gone. No, but why don't you talk to this gentleman and I'll look for it. Okay? Thank you. There you go. We found that safe with all your papers. Want to take a look? Yeah, I'll be right there. Okay. Thanks again for finding this. You'll never know what this means to me. I am just so confused about my brakes. I mean, I just had them relying. Shouldn't you go and call the insurance company or something? You're right. You're right. No, I'm gonna go upstairs, so if you need me, that's exactly where I'm gonna be. Nash, where are you? I think he's gone for good. I'm sorry. I'm gonna make it okay, though. I am I'm gonna make it okay. I... I'm gonna fix everything with Vicky out of the way. It won't be hard. Well, uh, yeah, I'm calling about a patient there, Victoria Davidson. I think so. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Oh, um, Vicky, what? Hi. Um, so they let you come home. Yes. You told me I'm absolutely fine. Yeah. This is just so bad. But I heard that at least no one was hurt, right? Yeah. Poor okay. guy. Yeah, you never know. One day you've got something and then it's just... gone. Just like that. Well, I'm glad I ran into you. So am I. I need to say goodbye. Do you believe that sales pitch I had to give Vicky about that goodwill to her? God, it's humiliating. It was nauseous. It was worth it, though. Now, with Vicky out of the way, we can give Jared and Natalie what's coming to them. Mommy's got a new plan. It's a fate worse than death.